Welcome, good evening. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition and I'm really happy to be here tonight with you. So tonight's topic is actually going to be Crohn's disease and we will be discussing that in detail and at great length. So I encourage you if you know anyone that suffers from Crohn's disease to please tag them in this video or share it with them directly and um, I know they, they're definitely going to get something out of it. Before I start with the disease, I wanted to let you all know that I do these calls three times a week. I do them two times on Tuesdays, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. I also do them Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. When you are watching this, please comment your city, state, and country that you are watching this from. And if you have any questions that I didn't address, questions about what I discussed, or clarification questions, or anything like that, please post below because we do monitor these heavily and we want you to get the answers you need. We want you to find solutions. We want you to master your own biochemistry. And once you master your own biochemistry, pretty much the sky is the limit. You, you will find that almost anything that you want to do is, is available to you because as most of us know, if we don't have our health and our vitality and our wellness, we, we don't have anything at all. So that's my service and I'm here to help you learn these things. So Crohn's disease is a inflammation, a chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract and predominantly you'll see it in the lower intestines also known as the colon. And what has happened over time in Crohn's disease is that the person has, their system has gotten repetitively worn down and they have chronic inflammation and when they have such a thing as chronic inflammation when the body becomes inflamed the cells actually start to separate so initially your cells are very knit to get knitted together and when you get chronic inflammation you're going to see the cells swell and holes start to form and there's a variety of mechanisms as to why that does happen in the body and I'm going to go over that but the main thing you need to understand right now is all Crohn's disease really means is chronic long-term inflammation of the lower intestine i.e. the colon and there are ways to repair and regenerate that. And I'm gonna teach you that right now. So I guess before I do that though, I do wanna cover the mechanism as to why. A lot of people might say, well, why did that happen? And what has happened is the digestive tract has gotten worn down. And I wanna let you guys know what the, the predominant agents that wear down the digestive tract. Alcohol, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, steroids such as prednisone, even fluticasone nasal spray gets in the body and wears down the mucosal lining of the gut and hence starts to wear down your digestive tract. And um, I know there's another one I'll probably remember before the end of this broadcast. So alcohol, chronic use of steroids, antibiotics, and then also, um, you know, like I said, anti-inflammatories. These all end up hitting your gut and they wear down the mucosal lining which then allows other things to start happening. And some of these other things that are happening in our natural diet in the United States of America, when we eat the standard American diet, also known as the SAD diet, we will, most of us will probably be eating a lot of what is referred to as gluten. And gluten is a gluey substance found in wheat flour, spelt, rye, and barley. And what gluten is, it adds that puffiness to baked goods. But what gluten does in the gut, it's pretty much, I would think of it as glue. And it's glue that goes along and coats the villi and sticks the villi together. You normally, you want your GI tract to be like this, where it has, um, it's all, you know, open to be absorbing nutrients. And when we eat gluten, that doesn't happen. The glue then sticks all these villi together and they become uh, stuck together and, they, and they're not able to do their job. And then when that gluten solidifies and becomes kind of hard, believe it or not, in the digestive tract, it actually sperms little spikes. And then these little spikes start poking a hole in your digestive tract, which then allows things to leak into your blood. And when things leak into your blood that aren't supposed to be there, it mounts a very intense immune response throughout your body. And depending on how you as a person uh, choose to uh, respond to the disease, and that's individual for all of us, but for someone with Crohn's disease, what has happened is their body has decided to keep the infection localized or the inflammation localized in the 
uh, colon area and their body actually the immune response starts actually to attack itself the body will the immune response will get so revved up the body will actually start attacking itself and in the case of Crohn's disease the body starts attacking the lower intestine so that's one of, that's a couple quite a lot of information there of how Crohn's disease can develop and, be, and happen yeah what I want to share with you what the most important thing is what you can do today to stop symptoms that you might be having. And one of the biggest things we can do right off the bat is do a, a fast or a cleanse. And when I, a fast to me means a water fast or a juice fast, and that's where you don't eat solid foods. And the benefit to this is when you're not burdening your system with uh, food, your body will be able to actually send the energy elsewhere and start to, of course, hit and heal the most important part that's heavily inflamed. And your body does know how to prioritize this. So when we make these command decisions, the body will say, wow, we have some time, we have some energy, let's start healing the GI tract. So if someone was really sick, the first thing I would ask them to do is to commit to a three to five day juice fast, an organic juice fast, using vegetables such as kale and cucumber and apples and carrots. You always want to stay in the away from the acidic fruits and vegetables, so no tomatoes or oranges and something in this situation. Or you could even take it into a water fast. Those are also extremely beneficial. There are um, definitely challenges with fasts and cleanses, and anybody that's done them know, but it's worth it. It's a very powerful experience on many levels, yet the number one level that we're talking about in this instance would be the very quick boost you'd be giving to the healing and regenerating that needs to happen in your digestive tract. And since you're not eating food, you're taking a huge burden off of your digestive tract for it to do its job. So that's gonna kickstart it. Then the second thing, it's huge, is going gluten-free. As we just discussed, gluten is a very uh, challenging molecule for uh, the digestive tract. And if you are experiencing illness, if you have any inflammation, any itis in your body, any inflammation, uh, arthritis, dermatitis, itis, again, any itis, this is going to be a huge game changer for you, what I'm sharing. So you'd want to do a fast or a cleanse, and then you want to go gluten-free. And I know a lot of people out there, uh, you know, people think gluten-free is a fad, and I want you guys to understand that people that are adopting it without having symptoms are actually uh, being wise, because this, this gluten protein is very harmful to the system. We never used to eat it in the quantities that we do. It's in everything. They use it in filler to increase the weight of things such as mayonnaise and salad dressings. There's no reason for wheat flour to be in these things, and you guys will see that as you start reading your labels. There, there's no reason for wheat flour to be in these things. So it's a filler. It allows them to get away with charging $2.99 for a pound of mayonnaise that really doesn't have um, any in true ingredients in it. It only has wheat flour and some weird oils, etc. When if you study the recipe of mayonnaise, mayonnaise is, you know, egg yolks and vinegar. That's what the traditional recipe is. And so adding wheat flour, that's a way to, you know, promote uh, being able to make higher um, returns on investments in a large pound of, of mayonnaise. But the big point here is for anyone you know that's suffering, if you yourself are suffering, from Crohn's disease, I want you to understand that there are things you can do today to take away that pain. And like I said, a fast or a cleanse, big game changer, realizing that when you're taking steroids for Crohn's disease, you're actually feeding into the reverse mechanism. Short-term use, short-term burst, if you're having a major problem, that makes sense, but you do not want to be on them long term. You want to start working on repairing and regenerating your gut. And one of the first things we want to do is we want to get away from the offending agents. And the offending agents, like I said, alcohol, steroids, anti-inflammatory medications, gluten. And if you just stop that, you're going to notice your symptoms are going to decrease. There's more, and there's always more. There's always more to learn. And, uh, you know, I'm always welcome to explore that on a deeper level. So Crohn's, I know there's a lot of people out there that are suffering from it. It's a very... Uh, prevalent disease and just for a question out there you know for those of you watching and listening if you have Crohn's disease let us know and then also let us know if you have Crohn's disease do you are you hypothyroid so just list it yes no Crohn's disease no on hypothyroid or yes on hypothyroid if you have Crohn's disease let us know 
uh, yes to allergies, do you have allergies, or no to allergies. If you have Crohn's disease, do you have yes to eczema or no to eczema? If you have Crohn's disease, yes to psoriasis, no to psoriasis. And I think this is going to open a dialogue about what actually happens within the body. So again, all of these itises, all of these inflammatory conditions that we have in our body all contribute, and there's a big picture that's a biochemical picture, and once you understand it, you realize, hey, I'm damaged, my body's highly inflamed, and these things are gonna happen because of that. And there are things you can do right now, today, at this very moment, that are gonna help you repair and regenerate. So I wish you the best of luck on that. And again, if you have any questions, please post them below. We wanna hear from you, and we are definitely here to help you master your own biochemistry. All right, bye-bye, good night.